Hey guys! So let's talk about new starts. I'm going to start something new today. I am so excited. Um, this will be my fourth work in progress. I have Dorianne, which I started in January. I have my black work, which I started I think in May or June. And then I have my Canada sampler, which I started uh, early July. So I decided it was time to start something new. The Canada sampler is going really quickly and I am almost to the end of the parts that are put up for the blackwork sampler, so I thought I would find some time for this. And surprise, surprise, it's the Twisted Band sampler. Um, I have a lot of things I want to start right now. I have a lot of lovely patterns that are kitted up and ready to go, but I just got so excited picking my own colors for the Twisted Band Sampler that I just, I wanted to start this one right away. So I'm hoping to put in some footage of um, kind of how it goes this first day. Uh, we'll just see how much I get done. I haven't really done specialty stitching before, specialty stitches. Um, there are really clear diagrams though in that pattern, so I'm hoping it'll be okay, but might be a little slower at it than I typically am at stitching. Um, I did decide which fabric to use. I didn't have to order any. I just looked at what I already had, the sizes and the color that I thought would look good. So I ended up picking this um, Jobelin that I got at Hobby Lobby when I was in Minot. It's lamb's wool and it's just 18 count. I'll do a close up of this with the colors so you can see. Um, if you want to watch the video on how I chose my color palette, my weird process, I will link that down below. So stay tuned for a little bit of footage of my materials and hopefully some progress. Thanks guys! So this is my color palette for the Twisted Band Sampler. Uh, let me get in a little bit closer here. So as I mentioned, this is the 28 count uh, Jobelin Lamb's Wool. It's a boring fabric, but I think it's a really nice neutral. Um, none of the silks really get lost in it. Uh, I think it'll be a nice color for these kind of brighter colors to pop off of, and then the pearl and the topaz to kind of coordinate with. Uh, so yeah, this is my fabric and my thread. I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to do some fray check around the outside of this fabric, and then we're going to give it a go. Hi again guys, so this is what I've done so far, just two tiny little bands. Um, this is all strictly cross stitch right now. Um, that's the pearl there, and then this is that beautiful lemon and mint silk, which has that gorgeous variegation in it. And I'm just about to start the first row of specialty stitches. So that is what the thread looks like so far on the fabric. If you wanna follow my daily stitching updates, I will link my Instagram down below and hopefully I will have some more to show you in my monthly whip update. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.